Well, then check again, damn it. Martin Fitzgerald cannot have been released to any mortuary for cremation because his family never okayed it. How do I know? Because I'm his son! How can this be? We did not give permission. Maybe it's a mistake, Lord. Maybe they've confused Martin with someone else. You're absolutely sure? Then you better track down the mortuary you released him to because this cremation cannot happen. My mother needs to see the body again to make a positive ID. I have to be certain that the man who died is truly my husband. I just have to be. You get me two things, and you get him now. You get me the name of the mortuary who came and took Martin Fitzgerald's body, and the name of the person who okayed it. What happened? What did they say? The hospital morgue's got no record of what mortuary came to pick up Papa's body or who signed the authorization for its release. How is that possible? Beats me. They say there was a mix-up in the paperwork. They thought the family wanted the remains cremated. Are you telling me that they don't know where the body is right now? You got it. But we have to find out so we can stop them. Louise, if they go through with the cremation, then we'll never know if it was really Martin who died in the fall. And I, I have to see if he has a scar behind his ear, just like your father did. There's no telling how soon they'll do the cremation. We gotta find the right mortuary. Fast. I have to. I'll look for the be listing in the county. And I'll work on all the crematoriums in the area in case the body was taken directly here. Right. I better tell Teresa what happened. Teresa. What is it, Mama? Something awful has happened. There's been a, a mix-up with your father's body. What kind of mix-up? Well, we can't bury him. His body has been released for cremation. <gasps> I'm sorry. Don't be silly, Teresa. It's okay. What happened, Belor? Well, Luis called the hospital morgue, and they told him that Martin's body had been taken, that someone from a mortuary had come to pick it up. Well, then we'll call the mortuary and tell them we want Mr. Fitzgerald's remains back. That's not possible because the hospital has no record of who they released it to. They don't even know who signed the necessary papers. Even as we speak, his body could be cremated. Oh, my God. Even in death, Baba can't rest. There's got to be something we can do. Well, Luis and Sheridan are in there now, in the kitchen, trying to track down where the body is. I, I just hope they find it before it's too late. I'll go and help. Okay. I'm sorry. I know, I know that it's. We just have to hope that it all works out for the best. Mama, when you came out, I was just about to tell Ethan that it was my love for him that caused Papa to die. I told you, you are not to blame. And until we know for certain if that man really was your father. What do you mean? Of course it was Papa. What aren't you telling me, Mama? Teresa, I hadn't intended to tell you or Miguel until later, until after I had seen the body again. There's a chance that that man who died wasn't really your father after all. How could that be? The reason I had asked Louise to call the morgue was because I asked him that I, I needed to see the body one more time before the funeral. I, I, I had to see if that man had a scar behind his ear, just like your father did. So if, if the man who fell to the skylight doesn't have a scar behind his ear? Papa's still alive. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find out. If that's true, then my love for Ethan didn't kill Papa. I would give anything to learn that the man who died is not your father. I would. But you can't pin your hopes on such a slim possibility. And it is certainly not a reason for you to continue your obsession with Ethan. Did Luis and Sheridan find the body? Oh, they're still looking. Just pray that they find it before he's cremated. I'm so sorry, Pilar. I mean, your family's been through so much, and now you have to deal with this mix-up. You know, if there's anything I can do, please let me know. Thank you, Ethan, but uh, I cannot think of what. 
If you'll excuse me. You, you never finished what you started to tell me. Something about fate? Got it. Thanks. <laughs> Found the crematorium. Let's just hope it's not too late. Hi, this is Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. I'm trying to track down my father. His name is Martin Fitzgerald. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir, but that name doesn't sound familiar. Don't give me that. He was taken without his family's consent. Now, if he's cremated, he'll be charged with a felony under the laws of this state. Do you understand? Oh, uh, I'll see what I can do, officer. Well, you better do a hell of a lot better than that. Because I'm on my way down there right now. Call me officer. I didn't tell him I was a cop. It's like he was expecting my call. I want to go with you, Luis. I'll get my bag. I'm coming too. Uh, there's been a change in the schedule. Uh, cremate Martin Fitzgerald remains first, and call me as, as soon as you're done. Is that going to be the cremation? What is this? Who do you think you are? Officer Lopez Fitzgerald, Harmony PD, and Martin Fitzgerald's son. I'll, I'll call you back. Now, what the hell did you think you were doing? I called him a few minutes ago and told him there wasn't going to be any cremation. Well, it's the first I've heard of it. Uh, I was told to, to see to the disposition of Mr. Fitzgerald's remains right away. Well, who told you that? Who gave you that order? He did. I know you. Who the hell is he? He's a mortician. He's handled the Crane family burials for years. His name is Henry de Blanc. My family has used his funeral home for years. Well, you're in a lot of trouble, sir. Who told you to remove my father's body from the hospital morgue? I can't, can't think right up the top of my head. What? Try harder. And while you're at it, who authorized you to cremate my father's body without consent of the family? I authorized it. 